Tire repair does not have to take the spring out of spring. Springtime means time for traveling and shaking off the cobwebs of winter cabin fever. When you're out driving, you always run the risk of getting a flat tire. An unseen nail or piece of glass in the road has caused many drivers to be sidelined. While they wait for a ride or for someone to come along and change the tire for them, other drivers are repairing their tires or replacing them on the roadside and continuing with their day. It's important to learn how to change a tire so that you'll not be left at the mercy of someone else while they have to shuffle plans to come to your rescue. For a woman with children, it would be very important because the less time that your children are stranded and exposed in the wet, cool spring weather, the safer and healthier they and you will be. First things first. The first thing you should do is to get your car off onto the shoulder as far as you can go or park in a spot where you'll not interfere with passing or oncoming traffic. After parking and turning off your engine, you should take out your lug wrench, jack, and spare tire. Make sure that your spare tire is properly inflated or is not damaged in any way. Remove the hubcap if you have one and use the lug wrench to loosen the lug nuts, which hold the wheel onto the axle stem. After you've loosened the nuts, put the jack underneath the car in the appropriate spot and slowly jack the car up until the tire is suspended above the ground. Do not raise the jack too high or the car will tilt over. Just raise it enough to get the tire off without scraping it on the ground as you pull it off. Next things next. After you have the nuts loosened and the car jacked up into position, hand loosen the lug nuts and remove them one by one in a star pattern. Take care that you lay out the lug nuts in the order that you removed them. Grasp the tire with both hands and slowly pull it straight out and off the axle stem. Set the old tire aside and install the spare tire. Make sure that the spare is the correct size for your car. Apply even pressure as you install the new tire so that it'll be perpendicular to the road. Reinstall the lug nuts in the order in which they were removed and hand tighten. Then take the lug wrench and tighten the lug nuts, but do not over tighten. Slowly lower the jack until the car is back on the ground. You'll be ready to drive the car to an auto parts or tire store to purchase a new tire or take it to a mechanic to replace it for you. Mobility has its privileges. Being able to change your own tire can mean the difference between being inconvenienced for a few minutes and getting dirty but mobile again and being inconvenienced for hours and have to spend money to pay your helper or a tow truck. You may be able to purchase a tire repair patch kit from the auto parts store that you can apply to the inside of the tire, or you can buy a canned chemical substance that inflates and seals the hole in your tire so that you can make it to a repair shop. Either may get you by in a pinch, but being able to do your own tire repair gives you a freedom that has longer-lasting benefits.